Hello, 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 performers and dancers. I am here to talk about common muscle weaknesses that you could even start working on now that I have found to be quite common when working in the physical therapy clinic. The first one is your core. So I wanna go beyond, it's not just your core strength, it's also your core stability, working those deeper muscles such as the transverse abdominis. The second one will be your glutes. So this is your gluteus medius, minimus, maximus, the muscles that extend and abduct your hip. When those muscles are not strengthened in your glutes, that's where it can affect more of your leg. And in dancers, what I found in research is that more than half percentage is always the lower extremity for dancers. Never say always, never say always, but that is what has been found so far in all the research that has been done. So for strengthening, I'm going to pause on these two and then I'll move on to the third one. So for strengthening the transverse abdominis, a lot of this, if you just do Kegels, because Kegels actually have the same attachments um, and are connected with that deeper some of the same some of the same attachments as a transverse abdominis they connect with that deeper abdominal muscle and for you to be able to just even turn it on will be helpful a lot of people don't even know how to use this they have all these global larger muscles and they know how to turn them on right away but when it comes to the transverse abdominis it's uh, they, they just automatically start turning on those larger muscles the transverse abdominis attaches to your spine and wraps around your whole front portion essentially like a corset so it is a very good muscle to work on using and then to continue turning learning knowing how to turn it on when you are actively dancing and moving on the stage. That's bringing it to a functional level. So it goes beyond just lying on the table and just turning it on. You need to progress yourself. Then for the second one that I said, your glutes. So this goes beyond just clamshells, which is lying on your side and just opening up your legs with your heels together like a clam. It's going into squats. Are you turning on your glutes? Are you able to do a single leg squat with your glutes on? Are you able to know when your glutes are on and turn them on during an arabesque, alisicone, during a, a jeté, a tour jeté, when you are tapping and you are in a slight squat? Are your glutes working or is it going straight to your back or your ankles? So glutes. The last one is are your fibularis muscles or the peroneals. It has two names. One is antiquated, one is newer, but everyone uses both interchangeably. Those are the muscles on the outside of your lower leg and they help with your ankle. So if you're looking at me, ooh, since I don't have a skeleton of the foot yet, so this is like your big toe and then this is your little toe. So it's on the outside. This is where you have those, oh, let me get the camera right, the lateral ankle sprains like that. And the muscles, the peroneal muscles, their job is literally to and have that strength to hold you up. Where after lateral ankle sprains, and the reason why I'm focusing on that is because they're common. They're very common in dancers, ankles, lateral ankle sprains. Those are the first thing we're always working on. So if those are strong in the first place, that will actually, I would like to think, help you out with your recovery. And also, I would like to think also help you out with your prevention because if you have sprained your ankle before, the ligaments that attach to your bones there are therefore looser, so then your muscles now in your lateral ankle now have to work harder, significantly harder, and they now have a newer function of stability, which is not what they're made for. It's still possible to function, but you have to train them that way. So if they are already a little bit trained that way, it helps. Why not? So those, those are the three things that I would point out just you know, right off the bat, the core, the deep muscle, that transverse abdominis, your glute muscles for extending and abducting your leg, and then also your fibularis or peroneal muscles on the lateral lower leg. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. I tried to simplify this for you because it's easy to go into great detail on these subjects, but I just want to give a grand scheme. So when you go to the gym, you know exactly where you want to add some focus on a regular basis. Take care. Bye.